community that I think was, is right for me. And the way our clients are using this technology is they're doing, they're, they're having us build this for them much earlier in the process. So we actually work with, you know, the land acquisition team because they've got to get the, the community ready for the sales and marketing team. And so we're actually implementing this technology for them um, when, when we're working, when, we're, when they're really early in the process. And consequently, um, they're able to start selling a lot sooner because they're selling in a virtual environment. And then as they build the model homes and as they build um, you know, the sales center, they've already started selling um, um, using, using our technology. In fact, one interesting story is uh, Mer Meritage is a client here locally. They're actually, um, they're using this technology to go meet with the city council because the city council wants them to change the parking lots around the amenity and tear down some trees. And so, and so they're using our visualization tools to, um, to take to the city council to help kind of get through some of these permitting issues and whatnot. Here we see somebody having the ability to, to make a few small options. In this community, this DR Hort community, they don't have a lot of options because they're selling so fast. So there's not a lot of options here, but in, in other communities, you might have uh, dozens of options, both structural and design options, but really empowering the salesperson or the consumer to walk through this. And then finally, you're seeing, um, you know, the spec sheet for the home they've selected and then the ability to to schedule an appointment with the sales rep or or if or they move through this process in the sales office. But this you know whole thing might have taken, you know, 30 minutes. And in some cases, while a salesperson is working with one consumer, they're putting another another family or another prospective buyer on a touch screen in the other room in the sales office and letting them navigate themselves through this and then coming back in when everything's ready and they're like, hey, we picked this lot with this plan, with these options at this price and, and we're ready to go. So it's really empowering the user, whether it be the salesperson or the consumer to move through the process and again, start selling sooner and, and less expensively with less friction. Next. Um, everything, everything that I just showed you is all uh, um, put in through the, our builder content interface. So we have very API friendly technology where you know they, uh, this can be either uploaded manually or or direct feed. So that there's not double entry. Ultimately, our goal is that, you know we know our builder clients and developer clients are incredibly busy. So uh, we don't want to do anything that's going to take more time. So optimally, we would interface with their current technologies. Uh, but in the event uh, um, they're not using them, they're a small builder, maybe or an up and coming builder, and they don't have a lot of uh, technology solutions, they can enter this manually. Or, um, and in some cases, we actually uh, will we'll, we'll do it for them to get them started and then teach them how to, uh, how to use the builder content interface. But it's much like a a content management system you would use to build a website. So it's, 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 it's pretty simple. Next. And th th there's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunity to get, get information out there, but the ability to get um, uh, leading indicators instead of, instead of trailing indicators is very powerful. We have some of our clients who are building one less model home because they they can spend a couple thousand dollars and have it built in a virtual environment where they can spend you know, half a million to a million dollars depending upon the builder and build the model home in a, in a real environment. The, the virtual environment allows them to try new design plans or, or new configurations, um, uh, new options and see what, what people are interested in. So they can get information about prospective buyers, they can get information about preferences. And this is, they're really using this as, as leading indicators to help uh, drive the direction of their business decisions. So, so it, it's quite strategic on their part. 